it's uh, pretty cold today, but it really rainy, it's winter, and finally feels like winter. But fortunately for me, I'm going to be pairing it with the ultimate flavor experience. Uh, I thought I'd talk about why I stop playing games if I do. I tend to complete anything I start, no matter how bad it is. But there, there can be a number of reasons. I mean, it mostly just boils down to the game's not fun. At least anymore. But that can mean a whole bunch of different things because f fun is subjective. So different things can be good for different people, hence fetishes. And then... So I guess that's the disclaimer. God. My hair today. So what happens when I shower. So, reason number one is dumb difficulty. And it's not exactly, like, difficulty that's... Because, I mean, I don't have problems with hard games. I, I have problems that are hard... Like, annoyingly. Such as Neo with its big enemies that have these tiny-ass hand swipes that can take out your whole health bar, which is ridiculous. And, yeah, usually there's a way around that. You just have to learn their patterns, but once you do, it's not very fun. Such as that boss against that lady in the caves, like the one that paralyzes you. Oh my god. The one that paralyzes you was just really annoying because I figured out the way to dodge all of her attacks is dodge backwards and then guard heavy with the chain because then I throw the thing at her and hit her and I just had to do that over and over again until she died and it was extremely tedious so I guess what I mean by dumb difficulty is difficulty that either makes success impossible or aggressively unfun to do. Kind of talked about how Wolfenstein's difficulty was just too difficult for it and why it was too difficult. But I just turned it down to easy and then it became fun again. So there's that. I mean, I tend to play games on hard my first time around anyway. Because, I mean, I own this game now. Well, when I own it. When I rent, it's like, whatever, easy. But when I own a game, I like to play it on hard because I like to keep it for as long as possible. Regardless of what that means. Because, uh, I mean, sometimes you can just get to a point where winning just seems impossible because there's just not... Because, I mean, most of the time this happens to me in roguelike games. Because the point is that when you die, you go all the way back. And so in a way, that's the form of difficulty. Whereas the difficult part is getting to the end. And I always, for many... Like, pretty much most of the roguelike games I've ever played, I always get to, like, this one point where I just can't get past. And I call that my cap. Like, Rogue Legacy never finished. Gungeon never finished. I guess Binding of Isaac, but I don't really like that game because its core gameplay is very... It's just shooting four directions. I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta bring it, game, if you want to keep my attention. Ah, it's still hot. A robot named Fight. I'm probably not gonna play that game for a while anyway, because I just I feel like I've gotten to a point where I can't progress. And it's not that I consider it impossible to do so. It's just the process of going, getting up to that point every time is just kind of seems kind of boring to me. Like I never finished the PS3 version of Birth by Sleep because I got to the final boss in the last episode and I just couldn't win and I couldn't see why because anytime I did anything he just had a counter for it and I got really frustrated. Now, I mean I was playing on Critical and I was just like nah I can't do this. Reason number two is dumb gameplay design 
well, I mean, bad gameplay design, like, mechanics that, like, really frustrate you, or, well, frustrate me, like, things that just get on my nerves and I can't move past, like, I never, like, I never finished the tenth line because I found that, because no matter what I did, I always seemed to lose those items forever and that my characters would not stay strong enough to win, and every time I saved the game and left, I'd come back and all the enemies were gone, so it's like, what happened to all my progress? It didn't really mush together well. Why are you so hot? Because, I mean, after playing, because I'm very critical about everything, or analytical, I guess, and after watching things for so long, I try to pick them apart. Like, it's hard for me to enjoy mediocre movies now, because I'll, like, see different shots or scenes, and I'll think of, no, they should have done it this way, or this is how I would have done it. But then, the same thing happens to games. I'll be playing it, and I'll just be like, this is all they're doing? They're not, like, doing anything else with this? They could have done so much more. I think that's why meta games get really popular. Like Doki Doki and Undertale's, because... They take something and then play around with it. And then everyone like starts to like it so much. Because it's not just a thing. How are you supposed to taste this when all it does is burn you? Jesus! Sometimes, like with older games, sometimes I'll just put it down for a while. And then it just falls out of being a part of my lifestyle or being part of my life or it's not my routine anymore I'll stop thinking about playing it and then I'll start playing it and I'll not know where I was because they don't have any waypoint markers yes I know that it's supposed to be hardcore and casualization but sometimes that stuff is really useful like they put they created those things for a reason it's so that when you pick the game up after like five months you know what's going on because that journal isn't helping Like, I don't think I ever finished Pillars of Eternity, because, I don't know, I just got stuck, and I didn't know what to do about it. I'm like, I guess I'm not going to win, and I don't want to restart, so whatever. And I never finished Dragon's Dogma, because I got sick and tired of having to run back and forth all the time, and yes, you have waypoints, but, uh, why didn't they just have them automatically? Jesus. Are they gonna make a sequel? It'd be nice if they made a sequel. Please. Uh, Final Fantasy IX, I never finished because I get to Necron. Because I fight Kuja. I beat Kuja. I get to Necron and then I lose. And I'm like, who are you? Why are you here? I don't care about fighting you. I beat the, I beat the main villain. I beat the character that this whole plot has been around. Who do you think you are? And... I'm just like, oh my god. Like, because I fought Kuja and beat Kuja three times, and I just hated trying every time, and I'm just like, I don't have the energy to sit through this cutscene again, so I just gave up. Eight? I got about, like... Final Fantasy VIII, I got about... maybe two hours in, and I just gave up, because there's, like... There's two huge time sections in the beginning, which is a lot of un unnecessary stress on the player, Plus, the junction and draw system are, like, the dumbest things I've ever seen. I mean, there, there's, it's just, I bet it makes a lot of sense if you, I bet it would make a lot of sense if they'd explained it better. Because really, it doesn't, it's not that complicated, but they make it seem too complicated. And to use a spell in battle, you have to, like, go through eight submenus, and it just pissed me off. So that's why I never played it, and that's why it's my least favorite by default. Plus the whole orphanage plot twist seems kind of stupid. I mean, 3 is quite simply because I finished the game. I mean, my definition of finish probably varies from yours. I like to complete the story and anything else that piques my interest. I don't tend to 100%. 
Like collectibles, I couldn't care less about collectibles. The only time I did all the collectibles for a game was a Blood Dragon, because I actually got something out of that. And... That might have been it. But sometimes like I'll finish a game and I'll just not want to go back. Like Horizon Zero Dawn, I, Horizon Zero Dawn, I finished the story, I finished a lot of the side quests, but I didn't really feel like to go and raid all those camps, I just, I'm like, no, I'm good. My favorite instance of just being done with the game was Fallout New Vegas, where, like, I got, like, I went to Caesar's Palace, beat all those guys, like, they were literally all dead, the only people left alive on Caesar's Island is Benny, I mean Chandler. And then, like, I'm going to the NCR, and I'm like, hey, they're all dead. And they're like, great, well, we have this huge fight with them on Hoover Dam. You gotta help us with that. And I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. They're all dead. Their leader's gone. I don't care about Hoover Dam. I care about New Vegas, the title. What's Hoover Dam have to do with anything? <laughs> and so I never finished that game. I was just like, no, nah, this makes sense. It makes sense for me to stop. It seemed like a natural stopping point. Why are these so hot? 